Can Scottish teams be competitive in the Premier League? So for quite a few years now, two teams in particular, Celtic and Rangers, have been constantly talking about moving to the English league system to try and help their game in Europe. Nothing has come of it, of course, but today we're going to be testing how they would do if they were put into the Premier League. So as you can see here, I'm in career mode. I'm going to be simming as a neutral team, as Leicester City in this case, to see how they get on in the regular season. I'll put them in European competitions as well, just to see how they get on and we will see what happens. So I'm gonna jump into the calendar now and skip forward once again to the end of May where we'll be at the end of the season to see what happens. So let's go. Okay, so we're sitting on the 31st of May now at the end of the season. So let's take a look at the stats first to see if we can determine how the two Scottish teams got on. Uh, straight away, if we look at the top scorers, we cannot see either team uh, with a player representative there. Looks to go into assists now, see if it's any better. None there either. Clean sheets. Still no sign of them. And it's a combination of three different Celtic goalkeepers in the bottom half there. Gordon and Forster with two each and Bain with one. And McGregor for Rangers has two also. So it's not a good start seemingly for the Scottish sides. So let's take a look at the league table to see how they got on. Uh, so no sign of them at first. It is Liverpool that won the league, losing only one game. I can only assume it was to Watford. As we scroll down, 15th, 16th, 17th, and they have finished 19th and 20th. So to answer that question, it would seem no. The Scottish teams cannot be competitive in the Premier League. So with that in mind, let's quickly have a look at the other competitions. FA Cup was won by Tottenham, their first piece of silverware in about 300 years. As we head back, Nottingham for oh, I always find that Nottingham Forest in these simulations somehow gets to the latter rounds of the cup competitions. I'm not entirely sure why, but this is what has happened again. Uh, still no sign of either Scottish teams though. Uh, Celtic went out in round five on penalties to Sheffield Wednesday and Rangers went out in round three to Leicester City. Uh, so not a good showing from either side there, although Celtic did beat Sheffield United 3-1 uh, in that round. Let's have a look at the Carabao Cup, see if it was a different story. It was Liverpool that won the Carabao Cup. So we head back. Nottingham Forest again reached the quarterfinals. There must be something with the uh, the coding on Nottingham Forest there which isn't quite right because there's no way they should be reaching the quarterfinals of every cup competition I do a simulation in. Uh, let's head back. Uh, Rangers made it to round four, losing to Spurs. And if we can find Celtic, they went out in round three to Liverpool. So respectable defeats on both parts there. So nothing too special. Let's head into the European competitions in the Champions League. That's Celtic went out in the group stage in Group C to Dinamo Zagreb and Atalanta, uh, which means they would have gone into the Europa League. It was Atletico Madrid that won the Champions League. Let's have a look at the Europa League. Uh, Juventus won the Europa League. Let's check first how Rangers got on. They finished third and didn't make it out of the group. So let's head into the round of 32 stage to see how Celtic got on. They beat Young Boys uh, in the first knockout round. So let's have a look at the round of 16. Uh, well, they won again against Galatasaray, winning on away goals, making it to the quarterfinals where they lost 3 0 on aggregate to Chelsea. So quite respectable showing in the Europa League from Celtic there, but nonetheless, they were relegated from the Premier League. So let's just take a quick 
simulation of the next season just to see how they get on in the championship. Okay, so we've only made it to the 4th of April before the board of directors has decided to sack us. Um, so I can only assume it's because we left the assistant manager to do all the decisions. But nonetheless, we'll just find another team and continue the simulation for the last month. Uh, it looks like we will be taking the job at Swansea. And it's a cruel world for our manager in this simulation as he has been sacked again, this time by Swansea. Um, so let's try and find another job for the remaining 10 days. <laughs> How far the mighty have fallen from uh, manager of Leicester City to manager of Rochdale in the same season. Uh, but that's what we're going to have to do. Okay, so we are sitting on the 31st of May now. And the sackings actually worked in our favour as we are now in the championship. So we are able to see the stats from the league to see how our teams got on. And uh, Celtic did actually finish with the top scorer in the competition. Uh, Odds and Edward are getting 22 goals to get the golden boot in that competition. Uh, we'll have to scroll down to 16th to see Scott Arfield with 14 goals for Rangers. And no other Scottish players in the top 25 top scorers. Head over to assists and Arfield got the top assists. Uh, 18 in 46 matches for him. Uh, no others in the top 15. Uh, we to the bottom half and McGregor got 10 to get 23rd. A reasonable season I think from both teams. Let's take a look at the table. Um, they finished 10th and 11th respectively. Rangers actually finishing above Celtic this season. So I believe we have found their level in uh, FIFA and it is in the championship. So not what supporters of either team would be looking for. I believe it is a fair evaluation of how they would do in this competition. Uh, so let's go over and take a look at the cup competition, see how they got on in those. Uh, the FA Cup was won by Bournemouth, surprisingly. Uh, we have to head back. Celtic did make the semi-finals, losing out to Bournemouth 2-1, so a good showing from Celtic there. And Rangers went out in round 3, 2-1 to Everton, so not bad from Rangers. Um, a difficult opponent to go out to, uh, but it was disappointing that it was only in the third round. So let's take a look at the Carabao Cup, see what happened there. It was Chelsea who won 2-0 in the Carabao Cup. Head back to the previous rounds to try and find. Uh, we find Celtic went out to Everton also, uh, this time in the quarterfinals. And Rangers actually went out in round one to Brentford. Poor showing from Rangers, did much worse in the cup competitions than Celtic, but did manage to beat them in the league, so 1-1 one, one, I would say on aggregate for, for those teams. For anyone that's interested, Real Madrid won the Champions League 2-1 over Leipzig, and in the Europa League it was Marseille who won 2-1 over Porto. Unsurprisingly, if we jump over to the Scottish Premier League, where the two teams I swapped out are sitting we see that Aston Villa and Norwich have finished top two in the league. Norwich actually going unbeaten in the league, but not managing to beat Aston Villa in the end, uh, further proving the point that the Premier League is of a completely different level to the SPL. Uh, so let's head into the live match now, where we will do uh, Celtic against Leeds to see how they do in a just a regular championship match. Okay, so time for the live match now. Celtic versus Leeds United. We've gone with Leeds United as that is the team at the top of the championship at the time of this recording. Uh, we're playing in a neutral stadium, the Signal Iduna Park. So let's jump on into it and see who comes out on top. And then there's plays a ball through to Helda Costa. It cuts back and crosses the ball into Bamford. Play back, Harrison has a chance. Can he shoot? And he gets an early goal. Just two and a half minutes into the game, it was some poor defending from Celtic. Couldn't quite clear it, and it fell to Hernandez. And Hernandez gratefully slots the ball home past the keeper. And it is Leeds United 1, Celtic 0. Poor pass to Edouard, who back heels it to Griffiths. Griffiths takes a shot now, and it is saved. Forrester plays the ball through to Edward. Has options in the box if he can find them. But plays it back to McGregor on the edge of the box. Takes a shot. And it's edged just wide. 
long shot from Griffiths there, pushed away by the keeper. Caught the played short, played to the box and saved! Griffiths now has a chance, has another shot, this one goes wide. Ailing down the wing now, plays it forward to Costa, who is onside. No options in the box, though. Plays it back to Bamford. Oh, I'm not sure if that was a shot or a cross, but the keeper gathers it nonetheless. Does have some space down the left-hand side. Cross it into the box, and it's cleared. Only as far as Harrison. Plays it inside to Costa, who takes a shot, and it's saved. Costa back heels it back inside to Hernandez. There's a bit of space, but doesn't take it. Instead plays Ailing through. Cuts it back to Costa. Costa, can he cross it into the box? No, he plays it back to Ailing. Inside to Hernandez, who finds Bamford, and good save from the keeper. Celtic pressing hard, trying to force a mistake from Leeds. Hacked clear by the keeper, but only as far as the Celtic midfielder. Celtic with a chance now. Ball play through to McGregor, one on with the keeper, and it is level. 1-1. One, one. The high press from Celtic forced a mistake from the Leeds goalkeeper, and Celtic got the ball through to McGregor, who wasn't going to miss from there. And it is Leeds United 1, Celtic 1. Ball played through, trying to find Christie. Can he get to it? He does. He takes the shot. Oh, and it's a goal. Out of nowhere. Christie managed to get to the ball first. Perhaps the Leeds defender should have done better there. But he took the shot first time. And even from that range, managed to get it past the keeper. Long ball played forward, and you have to say the defender made no attempt to block that there. And it is 2-1 to Celtic. Celtic have one more chance to settle the game here. Playing it forward, and it is cleared, and that will be the end. So, slight redemption for Celtic after their performance in the simulation in career mode. And they come out 2-1 winners. So, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Hit the subscribe button, really helps me out. If you've got any suggestions for any other videos you'd like me to do, pop them down in the comments below. And I'll see you next time.